Travels with Delaney. And I'm in the trailer today working on the curtains in our bedroom. We have curtains just like this with the plastic at the bottom and the blinds that come down. They're really nice out here in the living room, but in our bedroom, when our pillows behind our heads, they squish this back. This gets all at an angle. And then this is just uncomfortable with your pillow and at your feet on the bed. So a friend of ours took their whole thing out in their bedroom area and put up um, um, pillowcases that they had put a rod and had pillowcases hanging. Well, I'm gonna do mine a little different. We decided to get a pillow sham because we have kind of a woodsy, camping, fishing kind of quilt that we use. And we saw these real cheap um, at our local Ollie store. And we thought we might be able to try that. Now I just pinned this like this so I could get how much I needed to hang. Cause we're gonna, we still kept this and we're gonna have it hanging down. So just to give me an idea of where I need to pin, that way I can just sew a line across and then we have a tension rod that goes up underneath that'll just slide right through and then we can hang it underneath in the bedroom. So right now I'm just pinning to, to get them all set the same way. like after I and with Patrick's help sewn a line across the curtain so that I can easily slide the rod inside there to hang up. Another way to do it was to get these little clips that open up and you could easily, this is what my friend that showed me this, put it on the clip and then they just had a bunch across and they would just string the rod through those because they had taken the hardware off of the trailer. So, but we decided just to, because, uh, especially behind our head, this wasn't holding it on there well enough and it was coming off in the middle of the night. So we decided to make a space so that you could easily feed your rod right in there. And then I have two then, and then they will squish together and go underneath this part in our bedroom. Because we have like a fishing quilt type comforter that we use and we thought these would be cute. So, All right, here's the final product. There's the shams with the part that was left in that they put in with the trailer. And so with just two rods and four pillow shams, it was under 20 bucks. And we have cute little curtains that won't be bugging our heads or bugging our feet when we're sleeping. Okay, so this is just a cheap and easy way to upgrade the curtains the way we want. And this is Patty from Travels from Delaney. And I'll see you on down the road.